स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट मॉड्यूल ऑफ योर इंट्रोडक्शन टू डेटा साइंस कोर्स एज यू आर अवेयर दैट फॉर लास्ट कपल ऑफ मॉड्यूल वी हैव बीन कवरिंग पाइथन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट यूज्ड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एंड वन ऑफ द फेवरेट फॉर द डेटा साइंटिस्ट नो यू नो वी हैव कवर्ड लाइक इंस्टॉलेशन पाइथन कम्यूनिटी एंड द ओवरऑल इन्वायरमेंट वट इज़ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पाइथन और इंटीग्रेटेड डेवलपमेंट एनवायरनमेंट एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड लर्निंग एनवायरनमेंट राइट नो विल कवर सम ऑफ द लाइब्रेरीज यू नो लाइक फॉर एवरी टेक्नोलॉजी देर आर सर्टन गुड थिंग्स अबाउट इट एंड द बेस्ट थिंग अबाउट पाइथन इज और द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ पाइथन इज इट्स लाइब्रेरीज एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी शेयर विद यू दे इज अज वेरी बिग कम्यूनिटी विच इज सपोर्टिंग पाइथन एंड दैट इज द स्ट्रेंथ so many people they are you know contributing towards python and from one library they are developing another so on and so forth and at the moment there are hundreds and hundreds of libraries available but i'll cover, uh, share with you one of few of the most you know commonly used you can say or the preferred or the most widely used libraries of python so basically we can categorize these libraries in three different categories first is the numerical as you can understand from the from the name that numerical means which are handling numerics data and things like this right and the next is your uh, computational where we do lot of calculations and computations and third one is visualizations so visualization there is a complete section dedicated to visualization where we'll cover all that and there are so many other things about uh, visualization or the data visualization but in this uh, area or in this we will just focus on the libraries which are related to numeric and computational libraries so these are some of the libraries which are the you know top most used uh, numerical libraries so as from the na uh, name specifies the first one is scipy it is basically scientific python this is used where we are using lot of scientific formulas or the models the next one is pandas pandas are basically where we can store arrays of data different matrices of data and then there are and so many other uses so panda is one of the most used even among others if we are talking about scipy numpy and you know other libraries with panda is something which you will mostly use then ipython is again an integrated python environment or interactive python this is a shell command which you will learn also uh, shell the concept of shell is very very important and you will understand this soon and as soon as you you know come with your go along with your learning and you learn some uh, other languages shell command or the concept of the shell it is like an object and you will soon understand that how efficiently you can use it and how effective it is for your programming and not only in python but so many other you know languages and environments this this is basically a concept which we can use in so many applications and then numpy again as i earlier said this is numerical and scientific and then natural language processing toolkit this is a very very powerful library as the name suggests natural language it can be used for your text because when we are talking about data science we have already discussed about structured data unstructured data and the text is unstructured data and there are some other forms also of unstructured data which is image processing and the how they are you know stored in the data so this uh, toolkit is very very useful again in these areas and in certain circumstances where we have to do especially you know this i uh, i'll talk about this when i talk about uh, you know especially we cover this a little bit about uh, this uh, library actually i will cover all these libraries one by one but on a very very high level then the computational libraries as i mentioned these are for computation for your scientific or the statistical data modeling and things like this so we have pytorch tensorflow scikit-learn dinos and keras these are all your and and another very important thing is that these are just few of the libraries but at the same time these are most preferred or most 
commonly used library so once you start using one library or the one set of library or one type of libraries you will learn about the other libraries right so this is like your toolkit you know where you have so many libraries available and you will be using them one by one and if you remember in data wrangling and at some other you know discussions when we talking about sql and so many other things the one thing which i discuss so many times that is data pipeline from source to processing enrichment until visualization so you will once you understand uh, the whole concept of the data pipeline i'm sure up till now you have uh, developed a quite uh, you know good understanding about the data pipeline so you can use different libraries at different locations of your data pipeline or different uh, stages of your data science process whatever way you look at it right so this is how you can make use of different libraries then the third type of libraries is the visualization libraries these libraries are used for the data visualization right so data visualization is basically representing the data in such a way where one can see and just can make some opinion about the data so we understand that initially there are libraries where we are getting data from the source systems then it comes into your integrated data science environment we do some processing we apply different mechanism or different statistical models enrichment you know there are so many things which you will be doing during this process like from the source till the data visualization so data visualization again there is a very large number of libraries available some li libraries which are very uh, we can say just belong to python which will be used in in python or using python language and there are so many other languages which can be again used along with your python libraries or java or c++ or other programming languages